Hi there, Aquarius. How are you? It's Aunt Roswell. Welcome back to Magic Root Work of Love and Prosperity. Uh, if I have not met you yet, I just want to introduce myself. I am a trained shamanic healer. I am a former family services and family reunification worker. Um, I've also been trained in conjure root work and uh, hoodoo. And if you would like to, when you have time, to go on www.rootsofearth.net and you'll find uh, bath ritual salts, magic conjure oils, conjure candles, a setting of light service that I work on my altar. I work a lot with the moon energy to help us break through road opener spells. Sometimes uh, love conjure and love magic, it depends on the situation. Also banishing and cleansing, which is wonderful to do right now for the next two weeks, Aquarius. Um, I want to thank you for coming back for your love triangle reading. I got a lot of responses and a lot of readings because the reading of love triangle is actually based around requests and needs of my clients and subscribers. So I know that you all have been waiting for these readings, but in the meanwhile, I did, if you look down in the video list, I also did love guidance readings and who is the new love and how do they feel about me, okay? So I also did those readings uh, just to give you some variety, Aquarius, you know, so that we're not uh, doing love triangle constantly, but definitely they'll be uploaded. Along with that, I want you to know that I work a lot with uh, goddess energy to help you manifest in your business, mentoring, coaching, um, different things that we need in our family to break through past trauma and we need to be liberated. Um, if you do have any of those needs besides um, the soaps, oils, lotions, love kits, prosperity kits, um, let me know. You know, my email is in the bottom also, rootsofearth at gmail.com. Also, prices and availability. You don't have to schedule uh, on a scheduler. You can just schedule directly with your payment. Okay, Aquarius? So let's get started here for Aquarius Love Triangle Reading for October. Aquarius Love Triangle Reading for October. Let's have the energy of the relationship. And Aquarius, I don't know if you're the actual Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising, or if it's your partner, you know, if someone is cross-watching. Either way, I welcome you. Let's see here. Aquarius relationship. Aquarius love relationship energy. Let's see here. Romantic feelings. Okay. Let go of control issues. Wedding. Soulmate. So, Aquarius, you could be actually involved with your soulmate, okay? Even if they are, you know, not being so faithful, you still may be involved with your soulmate, which is oftentimes um, a lot of energy to do with learning and teaching us. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, we have stay optimistic about your love life, Aquarius, positive thinking and faith. So as I'm looking at this, Aquarius, uh, it looks like from the way that's aspected, these other cards here, it looks like possibly you need to change your perspective just a little bit. Possibly there's been some negative energy or toxic energy within your thoughts, Aquarius, because Aquarius is... You know, you are an air sign, and Aquariuses are really beautiful thinkers. They are naturally higher consciousness thinkers that have a lot of um, energy of different planets, and they can be very unusual and different in their thoughts, but they also have this ability to help others heal. So Aquarius, we need you, definitely. We need you on Earth. And I just want you to know, possibly with it saying, you know, the card is saying uh, positive thinking and faith. And then we have let go of control issues as crossing the energy of your relationship. So it's just something for you to think about, Aquarius. A little food for thought there. Romantic feelings, okay? Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So explore them before you put too much judgment on yourself, your partner, or your relationship, Aquarius. I don't know why I'm being guided to say that over and over. 
let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, so possibly there is more romance coming to you and your partner in this relationship. Let's just say possibly there is a third party, a fifth wheel, the other woman, the other man, you know, involved. Possibly, you know, is it something that will, you know, still remain, you know, or is this a situation where the two of you could come back together in more love? Okay, Aquarius, and see, I'm saying that because in the future position we have, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the greatest energy of all. So possibly, you know, this may not be a breakup that is not going to ever heal. And look at that. We have wedding on the foundation. That's huge. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. So this could possibly be Aquarius that are married, Aquarius that are in a common law relationship. You've been in this relationship for years. Soulmate. This is what's in your immediate past. Yes, this is your soulmate. So Aquarius is, you know, even though we do have separation here, crowding your thoughts, it, it just seems possibly, possibly that it may not remain in separation. But this is definitely in your thoughts. I'm hearing spiritually, Aquarius, that this is all resulting from some consequences. This separation is from certain consequences. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So possibly, Aquarius, you're wondering, you're worried, you're afraid, possibly that, you know, you are going to separate from your partner. Maybe you're really, really afraid because this is your soulmate. However, here is saying it's safe for you to love. Hmm. Let's go a little bit further. Let's go a little bit deeper in the energy of your relationship. Here, let's see. I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot. What is happening here in the energy of this Aquarius love relationship? Spirits of light. Spirits of truth here. What's happening? with Aquarius's love relationship. Hmm. The moon. So we have the moon on the bottom of the deck, Aquarius. This is possibly that you're involved with a, a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or it could be, Aquarius, that there's something yet to be seen. There's something still hidden here, okay? Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, someone just said in my ear, this is the love of a lifetime. They just said it in my ear. This is the love of a lifetime. So Wheel of Fortune, this is about definitely a soulmate. I'm going to go as far as saying this could possibly be a twin flame, Aquarius. Okay, so let's continue here. King of Cups. Okay, so possibly, Aquarius, you're involved with you know, someone who is very, very loving, very caring. Um, I'm hearing that they do have a bit of a shadow side, Aquarius. So this could be a very unique situation. So possibly um, this is a male water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or a, or a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or this could be the energy that the two of you have, Aquarius. You're residing in a lot of emotional energy. Um, if things are going well, it's beautiful. If it's not, it's like manipulation. Uh, it's like emotional blackmail almost. Very manipulative kind of energy that just drives you crazy emotionally. Okay, like bacteria, but it's spiritual. Well, here we go with the five of wands. The next card, lots of fighting and it involves more than two people. It involves more than one or two people. It's possible the third party is causing you to quarrel, okay, and argue and fight with one another. Could be a fire sign involved in this too. So much of the light here. And the five of wands, it's actually, Aquarius, is something that you had to go through. It's not really a way you could have avoided this. I mean, you love this person very much, soulmate. You're having fears and thoughts of separation that's crowning you. The situation could be your actual husband or wife, okay? So it's something that you had to go through. It's gradual steps that's going to lead to your healing. That's what I'm getting. 
the Justice card. So the Justice card being here, this is a lot to do with actual things that could involve courts, possible divorce, kids, custody issues. We have the Star card here, Aquarius, sign of Aquarius. Um, the Star card is very healing. Okay, the star card is very healing. So possibly this is an angelic kind of energy showing up to help you. Okay, the next card is temperance. Wow. Okay, temperance and the star together, Aquarius. I feel like possibly you will have a reunion with your partner. That's kind of the way this feels. Okay, it really kind of feels that way because, you know, the two of them showing up together like this. However, this justice card, hmm, that makes me wonder with the justice card, was this something where you actually did take an actual legal separation, okay? Was there courts involved somehow? That's what I'm wondering. However, the star card and the temperance card together is showing so much balance. It's showing a higher energy involved, you know, that could possibly heal you know, these issues. Hmm. On the bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. This is higher healed spiritual energy, the minister. When we are uh, dealing with larger energy bases, higher awakened consciousness, some things we all have to bow down to, you know. Yeah, the Hierophant. On the bottom, the Five of Cups. On the bottom, brokenheartedness, divorce energy, definitely. Page of Pentacles, long standing, long coming energy of security, so, or wealth issues. Yeah, it feels like some of you will divorce. That's the way it feels like some of you may actually divorce, some of you may not. Let's keep going here and see what's going on. Aquarius love triangle energy. For this reading, October 2018, Aquarius Love Triangle reading. What's the energy going on with this third party, with the other woman, the other man? What's going on here? Aquarius Love Triangle. I'm also getting that this love triangle may have started out of spontaneity, like a need for that, a need for spontaneity. Positive movement forward. Hmm. On the bottom of the deck, it says financial and material changes. So something really did happen within this marriage, within this relationship on the foundation. Something that was huge enough financially, mentally, you know, to make this person do this. Maybe one person controlled the money. And the finances authority. This is the energy of someone who could be a male, very much be a male, but they also make a lot of decisions and they control things in a relationship. That with positive movement forward, it shows that possibly Aquarius or their partner was not willing to, you know, put the brakes on and stop some of this third party uh, affair, foundation and achievements. Something to do with wealth, material things, the way things were running um, in this marriage or relationship, something happened that was pretty drastic, okay? Because this justice card being here, the hair font being here, it shows that there was either legal or marriage trouble and, uh, oh, well, the next card is temptation. There was something going on where one person had more power and authority. One person had more income. And it, even though they were, you know, the two love each other, they may still love each other, Aquarius. You know, this could still be ongoing. However, it looks like there may have been a divorce with the justice card, the hair font. It's involving the law, the courts, and marriages, the ministers here. Temptation. So this is toxic energy being represented. Okay, definitely one person seems to have had control and authority. It seems that they were getting their way, putting this toxic energy somehow into this union. Now, you know, by this being, okay, here's the balance coming in. 
balance. Maybe possibly there's a way to get back to this balance, but not if there was a divorce. Maybe some have not divorced, but definitely with it being on this level of soulmate or twin flame involving marriage, this was something that had to happen. It could not be avoided. It feels like, um, wow. Look at the next card is intuition. It feels like your twin flame, your soulmate, Aquarius, even possibly some of my subscribers, they don't even believe in those elements of twin flame or soulmate. Some people, they don't. However, when I see this much happening, sometimes it's on the level of just being on that soul level. You came in, you met this person, you joined together again, you came in on this energy wavelength together. And it's almost like they were there to teach you. And look at the next card, Harmony. This is like the Twin Flame card of the deck, Harmony. So this probably was a soulmate or a Twin Flame. And Aquarius, you would know if I was speaking on your exact situation, you know, because I know these are general readings and they're not going to cover every single person. However... It just seems that this was a twin flame soulmate energy. It seems that one person strayed because of power. They began to build up things in their ego and they understood they had power and authority and wealth and it took the foundation out. Okay. And as a result, however, you may be gaining even more intuition and clarity than you ever thought you would Aquarius. Okay. Especially with you being such a beautiful and radical thinker. We need Aquariuses in our society, in our world. We need we need Aquarius because your beliefs are so unique. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a time of reflection, Aquarius, really reflecting on how you want to move forward. If this is you, it seems you're going to have to navigate moving forward, incorporating more and more of that higher consciousness energy into your daily life and routine, okay? That's what it looks like. So um, if you would like to talk about this further, you all can comment or you can get in touch with me uh, for a reading. I uh, hope that you have a little bit of clarity with this, Aquarius. And I will talk to you all soon. You have a wonderful rest of your day. Blessed be. Bye-bye.